What are we doing today? We're getting stockfish. Let's check out this rig I got made up so I can transport these fish hopefully yeah. safely back. All right, check it out. We got three tanks. I say tanks, they're repurposed coolers. They're the biggest coolers that we had on hand. All right, come over and check these things out. So this is gonna be for the bull minnows and I have sponge filters in here as well as air stones. Each, whoops, each one of these is gonna have at least two to three of these and then we got the generator and i got my air pumps in the trunk we got the big one over there for the catfish smaller one for the crappie or red ear sunfish we don't really know what's going to be on the truck we got a list of what could be on the truck we don't actually know we get there We're really excited to finally get some fish to put in the pond um, it could be fingerling catfish, it could be 8 to 11 inch catfish. It's what we're really hoping for because that would be awesome to go ahead and put those in the pond. Our pond's already established, it's not a new pond. Um, the pond's actually about 100 years old and it hasn't been managed in the past like 6 years. Just took it over about 2 years ago. So um, it's actually in a really good state right now. All of the bass are averaging like 12 plus inches. We've only caught about three small bass this year and the brim are averaging 8.5 to 9 inches, which is or 8 to 9 inches, which is just awesome. Um, we're actually having problems with predation because all the fish we've been catching have been absolutely monsters, uh, full size adult fish and very few like two and three year old fish is what we've actually been trying to find the two and three year old brim and uh, we just hadn't been able to get them but I have seen a small school of one year olds so they did spawn this big brim did spawn last year anyway let's get to it Choo-wee! we're out here at the co-op in Meridian Mississippi that's right Meridian Mississippi the co-op hanging out with the fish wagon that's right this awesome stock truck company we have never used them before we're out here it's fish day we're waiting on the other truck to get here that actually has the fish on them they are something they can't serve them right yet um but i went ahead and asked them i didn't know as we haven't done this before i have the stock tanks ready but i came on water so we're going to dump our tanks because they have their own water obviously because the fish got to get acclimated but let's go ahead and dump these tanks while we're waiting on the big truck to show up Well, we're waiting to get the fish now. Uh, all they had today was kind of basic Betty Pond stuff. They had a regular largemouth bass, regular bluegill, and a channel catfish, carp. And I actually didn't ask to see which minnow it is, if it's a bullhead or uh, the fatheads. So we're waiting to find out. We got 12 pounds of fathead minnows. We got 300 channel cats, and we got four grass carp. We want to try a little bow fish and have to grow them up. Should be fun. Look how big them things are. Yeah, y'all gonna get both fish. Get close up in them. Look at them, hanging out. Gotta buy forage for your predators. That is a buttload of what looks like golden shiners. Heck yeah, 12 pounds. 12 pounds of golden shiners. If you had about a uh, acre and a half of surface area. So it should be right on the money. Granted, I don't think half of those are gonna make it home. Let's go ahead and move these up. Let's move these aerator pumps out of here for the catfish that are coming. And get that cooler ready because we got 300 catfish on the way. 300 channel cats we're putting in it. I know it's a little much, but we want to make sure that we got a lot of big bass, and we know those big bass are going to be predating onto these catfish, so we got a fun. Okay. There's the first bag, pretty little channel cats. They got the speckles on them. Look at them swimming around in there. And these ought to be big enough that only the big, like, um, 18 inch bass the bigger bass are gonna be a predate on them we don't have a lot of those maybe like four or five six of those in the pond so these ought to be able to survive oh yeah y'all hang out in there probably gonna be three bags is what i'm assuming probably gonna be 100 per bag um we want to make sure we got enough because i know some of them are going to survive the trip we're literally going to get these bags hop in and haul out four bag cats one more bag of cats, more golden shiners. 
got to make sure you got enough for it. And these shiners, these, these minnows are going to be absolutely decimated when they get released. I can almost guarantee there's so many strawberry perch in the pond. Right. Oh, don't like the way those lids are. We're definitely gonna have to fix that. Last bag. We're gonna get these things buckled up, get them back to the house, and we can go get them floated in the pond. Then we can get them released. We're not gonna tag any of these because they're not big enough really to be tagged. Um, and I don't think we're gonna have a problem. We don't have any catfish in the pond that I'm aware of. I released several and we have caught some subsequently, but at this time, I don't think there's any. So let's go ahead and get these things loaded up, get out of here. Hooey! All right, so we made it back and I'm already seeing big problems with the bait. Um, the forage ones, they're gonna have to be released like immediately. There's no way I can float them. They do not have enough oxygen. This is nuts. I mean, God. Look at the foam that's already generated and they are just absolutely sucking for air. Look at that. That is awful. So, oh, there, there are tadpoles in there too. All right, I hope those are, those are definitely bullfrog tadpoles over there, pigfish. Is that a catfish? Is that a catfish? What on God's green earth? There's a catfish. Okay, that's just a big bullhead man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. First, I thought I saw a catfish in here, but it's just those big bull heads. The big, or fathead minnows, maybe? I don't know. Whichever one. I know that I'm probably not going to leave them in these bags. I mean, they're just sucking for oxygen. Look at that. It's terrible. Let's just release them. Thousands and thousands. And thousands of bait fish. Now, for my... Future bow fishing targets. <laughs> These giant garb, oh heck yeah. They're supposed to be mules. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. They're suffocating already. <sighs> Gotta release them, can't float them. I can't float them like that. Jesus Christ, I knew that was gonna happen. I mean, it was a 20 minute drive, maybe, maybe, max. I mean, I came straight. That's why I had the tanks and the aerators. No, man, the bag's fine. No, the bags are not fine. That is sorry. That is this bag seems generally okay, but I mean, they're suffocating the same thing. Oh, that carp looks bad. He's done laying on his side. Yeah, these. I just got to release them all. Man. There you go, future bow fishing guys. Let's get these catfish out of here. That's why I bought so many, because I knew I was going to lose several. Much rather have picked them up in the tank, though. I'll tell you, if I buy from them again, I am definitely going to just float the bags in my tanks uh, there at the store and then um, drop them into, into my tanks, because... Like most of that bag is looking bad. It's the worst way to have to release fish. They're literally gonna die if I don't. So, I mean, look at that. That one's dead. That one's dead, that one's dead. A lot of those are dying. See, if I don't get the bodies, then, um, the turtles are gonna smell them and come over here and start eating and all the other weak ones are gonna get their butt ate. God. Look at that. That's why I wanted to transport in aerated water tanks. Not in a bag with half a gallon of water for a hundred fish. Maybe a gallon of water for a hundred fish. That is insane. That is insane to think you could possibly make it. And the water, the water that was smelled horrible, like really bad. It, it, oh my gosh. I mean, there, there are some that are not going to recover. They are already dead. Like that guy, that guy's dead. That guy, he's dead. 
some of them are recovering and some of them were okay, but <sighs> I mean, literally the only option I had was to dump them into the pond so they could get into the, into the oxygen. I mean, I could have dropped an aerator into the bag, but I feel like it's stupid because it's only like a gallon of water. I, I mean, I would have to put like eight air hoses in there to even think about it. And then still the ammonia level would have been just outrageous. They still would have been suffocating. It... Gosh. See how many from over here are already toast. Oh no, that was a big one. And he is suffocated. He's done. Gills extended. Mouth locked. He's done. That one over there is done. Flipping and floating. If their gills are still pumping, they might might recover but if their gills are locked out they're done they're dead i mean the carp are okay they're hanging out there he's he's about to leave he's gonna go find him a new spot in the pond gosh so you're just sitting trying to chill and recover and i'm gonna let him hang out and um let him chill and then i'm going to uh start pulling the dead ones out so the turtles don't come over and start feasting because this is pitiful that sucks man that one right there he he would have been edible come august well i am incredibly disappointed in the catfish that was bad um put in the comments if you really think i could have done anything different other than getting them directly off the truck driving 15 minutes to the pond i mean directly here it was they didn't last 15 20 minutes in that bag it was 100 fish in a gallon of water come on come on but yeah so i would suggest definitely using your own tanks don't listen to the fish stock guy like uh don't float i mean i'm gonna float the bags in my tanks next time and release them into my heavily oxygenated clear water tanks that are good water and seasoned tanks like this is pitiful this is pitiful you go drop a bunch of money on fish you want to get them to the house i mean and if you don't want to drop thousands of dollars to have the truck drive to your pond and you want to do it yourself and save literally thousands of dollars, I would suggest putting them in your own tank, maybe going to the hatchery yourself and get it. That's what I'm going to do next time. Um, definitely when I go to stock crappie in the fall, I am not going to go get a bag of crappie. That is crap. That is absolute garbage. There's no way I'm going to go get a bag of crappie. I'm going to go get them and get them in my tanks. Even if they hand me the bag, I'm going to float the bag for like 10 minutes in my tank and then release them in the heavy oxygenated water because this is pitiful. And the water was horrible. It was really strong ammonia smell, like way bad. Like I'm talking like a tank full of dead fish bad, like a tank full of a hundred dead fish bad. Like it had been dead for like a week. All right, like bad water. And uh, yeah, so then don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't get them in the bags. I wouldn't try to transport them in the bag. Do you see all that? Do you see all that behind me? That's, that's pretty much dead catfish. And we go over here. See that? Over there? It's dead catfish. That, those, those, those that you're seeing on the sides, those are probably not going to recover enough to pull them out. I'll count how many I lost and see, like, how bad that was. But I could not have done the transfer faster. Like, I couldn't. I, there's no way. I mean, I could have sped and got here in, like, maybe 10 minutes. But, I mean, 20 minutes. Come on. So, it was a good thing I released those bullheads first. And, I mean, I had planned to do that anyway. Um... Cause I know that there's at least three strawberry perch that hang out um, over here. And you see all that rolling in the water? Uh, pretty sure that's the fathead minnows getting destroyed by strawberry perch. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of uh, strawberry perch. I probably should have got more than 12 pounds. Probably should have got like 30 or 40 pounds. But they're like, oh, you only need, you know, like 10 to 15 per acre or something. And I was like, well, you know, acre and a half, I'll get 12 pounds they're getting destroyed. I mean, I guess that really goes into, you know, you get those when you're starting the pond. This is a hundred year old established pond. that's incredibly healthy. I'm just trying to add um, some different species in basically. So yeah, the, those bay fish are getting destroyed right now, but I put them out in front so that they could be a decoy and the bass and the strawberry perch and the other perch could all get their bellies full on those fathead minnows. But Hey, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you made it all the way to the end. I appreciate y'all so much. See y'all next time.